<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome in my channel uh, ASP.NETMVC and you are watching uh, online movie ticket booking uh, video. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to design uh, total number of seat booked and as well as the total number of users uh, in a uh, in in my database. Uh, so um, that uh, that functions actually performed by the admin. So I uh, I can do uh, I can do it in uh, admin section. So admin control open admin controller and uh, uh, create a HTTP get actions with the checkbook seat uh, method. Okay, in which you can add a variable cat booking table and uh, where you can get all the uh, booked seat uh, details, uh, you can find it by using context.bookingtable.to list and return that uh, get book table. Uh, also, uh, that uh, check booked seat uh, retrieved all the booked seat in the descending order because the new one is. Uh, uh, come from um, the top positions okay so a a dot date of present um, according to the dates um, i want to uh, descending order i, I want to uh, uh, i want to retrieve the item in descending order uh, okay okay uh, now after that we can get all the users uh, which is uh, logged in uh, or you can say the booked uh, seat because uh, booking uh, is depend on the user uh, who uh, uh, who will uh, authenticate in the websites so uh, public i action result get user details and in which you can uh, perform variable get all users actually mm, so uh, also admin detail is also available and but uh, after that we can uh, distinct uh, or you can say ex uh, accept the admin details from the list but uh, on this time i want to get all the users uh, which uh, which is include in the database table or you can say which is reside in the database table so return view and the get user table okay that's pretty simple and uh, i think it's good thinking and generate a checkbook to sit uh, view uh, on the checkbook to sit uh, http cat actions with the template is list and uh, model is the booking table so that's pretty simple i think uh, please keep watching my all other videos which is related to asp.net mvc and asp.net core uh, and also, uh, if you learn many more things about ASP.NET Core, so please uh, watch my video tutorials of ASP.NET Core from beginning uh, to professionals, because uh, I will provide you better video tutorials in, in at a professionals level. And uh, also, I provide you uh, about the more details about the entity framework. Okay, so uh, I think. Uh, you can uh, get better details about uh, um, asp.net mvc core project so thank you guys and uh, thank you very much for watching this video keep watching all other videos remaining videos uh, from uh, 4 to 2 10 thank you very much guys